Hey everybody, we're going to go over a factorial ANOVA with a significant interaction using JASP. So from here, uh, we have a data set on sex, note-taking method, and GPA improvement. Uh, I always check my model assumptions first. And um, so from here, I can uh, uh, get my descriptive statistics, put in my dependent variable for gender, and uh, look at my uh, uh, QQ plots. I always like to look at box plots as well. Um, they look fairly normal, and the QQ plots show data fairly close to the line, a little skewness for women. Um, and then uh, I need to do the same thing uh, for, uh, uh, for males as well. Um, so uh, I run this again. Uh, not, not for males, excuse me, for note-taking method as well. And uh, there we have it. And so there it is for uh, uh, note-taking method. And again, I can put my box plots and my QQ plots, and I can see data fairly close to the line. Some skewness is evident. Um, but especially when our sample sizes are equal, ANOVA is fairly robust to uh, uh, non-normality. And that's the case here is we have a nice balanced design and just some slight skewness. So I'm not really too worried. Uh, let's go ahead and run our factorial ANOVA. And we put in our dependent variable of GPA improvement and our two independent variables. And um, expand this a little bit. And we look at our interaction term. That's the first term we look at. We see there is a statistically significant interaction uh, in gender and method. Let's go ahead and plot that. Um, I can uh, put method here and gender here. And uh, we can see that, yeah, what's going on with females? Uh, across note-taking method is not the same thing going on with males across note-taking method. And uh, so, uh, uh, you know, indeed, you know, you, that, that, that statistically significant interaction is, is apparent. And so we can't uh, interpret the main effects. We need to look at simple effects, or as JASP calls them, simple main effects. Um, so what I do here is, uh, um, I look at uh, uh, simple main effects, and uh, we're going to put method um, as the simple effect factor and gender as the moderator. And so what it has done is it's run, uh, it says, hey, is there a statistically significant difference in note-taking method for men? Uh, F of 254 equals two point, almost 2.50. Uh, there is no statistically significant difference uh, with men, but there is for women. Uh, F of 254 equals 25.86. P is less than 0.05. Now you notice JASP does not give you a, uh, an effect size here. I don't have an effect size option here for my simple effects. Um, that's okay. Uh, we know that eta squared is, um, is, is, uh, uh, computed by looking at the sum of squares between divided by the sum of squares between plus the sum of squares within. And here's my sum of squares within value, 1.78. So um, I can take 1.78 and add my sum of squares between of 0.165. And I can, that's my denominator now, and I divide that by 0.165. And so I can say, oh, well, I had an eta squared of about 8.5% of the variance accounted for. And I can do the same thing for women. Um, you know, 1.78. Uh, plus uh, 1.704, and that's going to be divided by uh, 1.704, and okay, about 49% of the variance is accounted for. And so uh, um, that's going to be my eta squared for, uh, for women. 
so uh, a fairly large effect size. And then you go, okay, well, we know note-taking method for women is statistically significant. Where's the difference at? Uh, we don't have a post hoc option here. And what I really need to do is I need to isolate uh, women uh, across note-taking method. So what I do here uh, then is um, uh, I'm gonna go back to a note. Uh, actually, I'm going to reopen the data set is what I'm gonna do. And so I'm gonna just uh, um, you know, delete here uh, and uh, go, uh, and go uh, let's, let's, let's open, not, not delete, but let's reopen this data set. And so uh, just reopening a JASP, a JASP file now, we can remove this. Um, and I'm going to uh, click on gender and I'm gonna remove the men. And we're just gonna run an ANOVA for women using note-taking method. And I wanna pay attention to that post hoc analysis and uh, let's get our effect sizes. And so here I can see for women only, um, you know, note-taking method one was significantly, significantly different from note-taking method two, uh, over two and a half standard deviation difference. Um, a small effect size uh, and a non-significant difference between method one in control and method two in control was over three standard deviation unit difference uh, and was statistically significant. And so uh, that's uh, how I handle simple effects uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a, a factorial ANOVA with a significant interaction in JASP. So thank you.